Scene one, Apple, take one. The Elgato ring light. The light that works and doesn't work. Scene one, Apple, take the Elgato ring light. The light that works yet doesn't work. <laughs> ah. Son of a... I give up. This is the Elgato ring light review. And you know where this is going. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is all about the Elgato ring light. And yes, the light does work. The light itself works fine. If you're into manually controlling the light with the buttons on the light, you're good to go. The bar that holds this to your desk, solid top notch. But what does not work about this light is the app control for your phone, the control center. And that sucks. Oh. All right, to be fair to Elgato, we're gonna unbox the ring light to show you exactly what you get for $150. And this light is packaged in an extra large pizza box. And I do like pizza. That cardboard cutout contains all the information about the light and the control center. <laughs> and the light is packaged pretty well to prevent damage during shipping. Here's the ring light, which is made entirely of plastic and is lightweight, which is great for travel. And here's a connection for your cell phone or your camera. And we mounted our Sony a7 III on here with no problem. This ring light has two control buttons a plus and minus, and you can switch modes by pressing plus and minus together. Here's a DC power connection, tripod connection, and on and off button. This Elgato ring light does look nice, it's lightweight, and is simple to use. And here are some accessories, like the cell phone camera mount, and here's the power connection. I don't care for that brick style on the end, they're hard to use in tight spaces. You have several power connections for different countries, like Europe or Asia or America. In this bracket, you connect to your light and then attach your cell phone or your standalone camera. And here's the user manual. And this is the desk mount for the light. Out of all the pieces, this is the most sturdy and durable. And I'm really glad that Elgato included this mount with the kit. It makes a huge difference. So guys, this is everything you get with the Elgato ring light. And here's the light that we mounted to our desk. This ring light's pretty large, but not too thick. It's got a slim build. And you can see where the cell phone or camera attaches. And these buttons are pretty simple to use. The plus button increases the light, and the minus button decreases the light. Press both buttons to switch modes. And here's the attachment for the bracket. Like I said before, it's very solid. I like it a lot. On the back of the light, there's some venting for the heat. This light will get a little bit hot. What's nice about the camera mount is it can swivel as well, up and down, left to right. FYI, there's a slight delay after you turn the power button on. It's about two or three seconds. And this is the very lowest setting. All in all, it's a very good ring light. However, there's more to this story. All right, this is the story. I bought this light about two weeks ago from Amazon, and I bought it because a couple of YouTubers recommended this light. I'm not gonna give you the names, but they recommended this light, and they said that the Control Center app worked great. You can control the light remotely, and that was a good selling point for this light. However, they were wrong. Maybe for them, it was able to work. For me, I couldn't connect it at all. And I'm kind of pissed about that because that's why I bought this light. I could have bought a cheaper light for like a hundred bucks or 80 bucks. This is a $150 light that basically is worth about a hundred, maybe tops is a hundred. And what's up with the control center name for the app? They couldn't have called it Elgato Light Control Center? Elgato Light Control? Elgato Lights? This control center? I mean, it's a crappy name. And whoever developed the app, wouldn't you test it and make sure it works before you launched it? And I went online and I did do the review on Amazon and they got mostly good reviews. It got some bad reviews about the app, but when you go to the app store and read those reviews, just look at the reviews here. I'm gonna show you all the negative reviews. I wish I would have gone there first. If I had seen these reviews, I would have not bought this light. 
It's very rare to see an app like this from a company like Elgato that gets this poor of a review. And every bad review is due to the app in the control center. All right guys, as far as the review goes for this light, the Elgato ring light, I do not recommend it. If you're gonna spend 150 bucks for a ring light, all the features need to work, every one of them. It can't be iffy, it can't be kind of works, or sometimes works, or doesn't work at all. That's not gonna work for me. To me, that's a bunch of crap. So I do not recommend this light. Get something cheaper for like 100 bucks. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it for taking the time to watch my videos. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, you know what to do. Hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it.